all those slabs of ice left behind on the gravel bars in the banks of the Bow River, they're really starting to melt. And they're returning all that accumulation back to the Bow River and helping its flow. And of course, the more the bow flows, the better it is for everything along the bow. Like the fishing. I asked permission to fly my little drone over and take these pictures and look at that. A beautiful fat rainbow trout. Promptly released, of course. Above the river valley, out on the flats, thanks to this never-ending string of snowstorms, there's still plenty of snow in the fields. These geese are actually on a pond, but I couldn't see it. These other ones, they were splashing around in the meltwater. Meltwater that we really needed. But though it still looks wintry, no, it's not. It's spring. And the Bow River is shedding its ice rather quickly. Down here at Carzeland Weir, the water is running pretty much open. There's ice still on the backwaters and places like that, but, you know, not all that much. But man, the roads are terrible. I was getting my brakes done the next day, so I cut my drive short and went back to town to hose off the mud. But once the new brakes were in, I was back to the river. And I found these guys. Blue herons are back on the rookery down at Policeman's Flats. So great to see them back. And downstream from the Carzelin Weir, the river is flowing wide open. Still ice along the banks, gotta expect that. But it's going. And the birds are back in the riverine forest singing up a song. The geese, of course, well, they kind of never shut up. These ones were watching a flock of scot that were taking advantage of the receding ice to dive in the shallow water closer to the bank and come up with something to eat. They were in that semi-lake that backs up behind the weir, but over at the weir itself, chunks of ice were moving down and crashing into the water below. There were ring-billed gulls parked on the rocks looking for anything knocked loose by the falling ice. Up along the shore I came across this gorgeous pheasant. The colors are so bold at this time of year. And out on the flats a little further upstream, Hundreds and hundreds of pintails, widgeons, tundra swans, and trumpeter swans were taking advantage of all those meltwater ponds. Down along the river, things were a little more tranquil. The water flows slower down here by the weir. And trout were sipping newly hatched bugs as the chunks of broken ice moved slowly along. So, yes, spring has come to the bow. True, there's a little more ice to melt, and things can get a little bit warmer. But as the bow flows, so do we.